Hello everyone, I'm Sangeeta. Welcome back to my channel, Green Fingers. I will take you around all the orchids that has bloomed today and I'll show you what type of orchids have bloomed. Few of them have bloomed in my house now. I'll show you around. Come. These are Phalaenopsis orchids and this is a mother plant. This plant is uh, slightly old compared to the other plants and they have uh, there are a lot of baby plants that this plant has produced and we have so many of them around. I will show you all of them. Come. This is the blooming season for them. Few of the flowers have fallen and few buds here. You can see the buds. They'll all open up in a day or two. This is also hanging on a coconut shell, as you can see. This is a pink and white phalz. There is a yellow falz here. It's an yellow falz with a, a pink tongue. It's actually peach tongue, not pink. I think it's peach. This is also a very frequently flowering plant. Again, that's also hanging on a, a coconut husk. We like to leave the plant as it is. We don't uh, restrict them. In any way, they like to grow whatever, whichever way they like to grow, they'll grow like that. So these have also flowered. Nice, beautiful blooms. You can see the roots of these plants. The roots are so healthy because they are all left like that. Few of the roots, roots have got stuck to the shell. The other roots, they are like aerial roots. All very healthy roots. This is another Phanelopsis. Uh, this is a small plant, it's just started to bloom. I think this is the first bloom. This has got an orange uh, tongue. It's a baby pink flower with an orange tongue. The flowers are old, the uh, flowers are about to fall. Now let's go to the other side, to the greenhouse and to the front area of the house where I have few more plants. Come, let's go. This is a Vanda and uh, luckily this time I have got two flower spikes and uh, both in full bloom. These have got spots on it. It's a, a purple or a dark pink, you can call it dark pink or purple, whatever. Color spotted Vanda, very beautiful plant. Vandas, normally we hang it like this. It doesn't require any medium. They've got a lot of aerial roots. And all these roots are very healthy. You can see that all the roots are green. Even though I've not watered it today, the roots are very, it's green. That shows the roots are very healthy. And the flowers are quite big. It's it's see, it's it's almost three-fourths of my hand. Uh, again, a very frequently flowering plant. This is another Vanda. This Vanda orchid is I think more than 8 feet tall. And see the size of the flower. I hope you can see the flower is bigger than my hand. See it's hand span, almost like hand span, one flower. And it's got spots on it. 
it's a dark purple shade. This plant is actually quite old and I was waiting to cut this plant but there was no growth but now there is hope here see one plant is coming here and now I can just cut this plant here and I will have two plants one here and one here once this grows so I'm just waiting for this plant to grow maybe in four to five months time this plant will grow to another three four inch longer and then I can cut it off so then I'll have two vandas of the same species. The roots are also very healthy, all aerial roots. got brown spots on them. This is a white phalaenopsis with a pink tongue. This is a green dendrobium. I can have green fingers, you can have them too. Plant something today and prove me right. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.